Hello YouTube, welcome back to this tutorial series, and this tutorial will be talking about shaders. So I'll start this off by adding a class called shader, and in this class we're going to create an integer called id. We're going to create a constructor called public shader string vert code and string frag code, which is where uh, we will input the shader code for each shader. We're going to create public void compile to compile the whole shader. Public void bind. Actually, make this compile void private. Public void add program. Input the code and the type of shader, which is an integer. And we're going to create public void unbind. And let's see. Huh. Okay. And a public or a private void create. Also make this add program private too. So in bind we're going to type gl20.gl use program and input our ID integer up here. In unbind, we're going to type gl20.glUse program zero. Here in compile, we're going to type gl20.gl link program, input our ID, and gl20.gl uh, validate program ID. In create, we're going to set our ID to gl20.gl create program. So we're setting the ID. Here in add program, we are going to type uh, int shader id equals gl20 gl create shader. And right here, we're going to input our type, which has already been done for us. And we're going to type gl20.gl shader source. Take our id here, and then take our code string here gl20.gl compile shader take our shader id and gl20.gl attach shader so input our shader id to here and our shader program id here now in this constructor i'm going to add add program vert code and we're going to type gl20.gl vertex shader. Then we're going to add our fragment code, which is add program frag code gl 20gl fragment shader. After that we're going Okay, never mind, we're going to have to create our program first. So add create up here. Compile. Now in our test game class up at the top, I'm going to add a shader and call it S. And in our game init method, I am going to create the shader. But first, I'm going to create a string vert code and a string fragment code. So I'll start with the vertex code. What we're going to do is we are going to create a void main. Remember, we'll have to uh, type the line breaks right here. This just shows that it's a new line, and since we're not writing it in a separate file, and we're just writing it as a string in Java, we kind of have to write that. Um, but you don't have to write it for when you have the semicolon, as it, it's a line break. So in this void main, we're going to just type gl, um, gl position equals f transform and semicolon then you're going to have to put the uh, ending bracket right here but what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create a varying vec4 v underscore color and I'm going to set that v color equals gl position which we just set up there now for the fragment code, I'm going to add, I'm going to copy this varying vec4 right here. 
and paste that in. I'm going to create another void main for the fragment code. And in that code, in, the, in that method here, this void main, I'm going to type gl underscore frag color equals v underscore color. And then I'm going to create our shader. So s equals new shader import import uh, can't talk input our vertex code and our fragment code now to use it i'm going to type s dot binds and after we draw our mesh right here i'm going to type s dot unbind now if we run that huh didn't do anything geo color One second, I will be back. So the reason why it wasn't doing anything is because of a stupid misspelling. I misspelled position there. So if I run it, you'll see that the position is also the color. I hope you learned something from this and thanks for watching. Check out the latest video if it's up yet.